Uh huh. Good morning. Good morning, me hearties. Excellent stuff. So lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome. Fantastic. Saturday morning, nothing gets past me. And the time is just coming up to nine o'clock. I'll tell you exactly when it's nine o'clock. And then you can think, good, never mind the news. We've got Scotty McClure here. So a very, very good morning to every single one of you. And a very warm welcome. Uh, we'll tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClure is, of course, live. Not at 10, but at 9 on a Saturday morning. You can't beat that. There's Kirsty saying, hi, Scotty. Hi, Kirsty. Lovely to have you with us. Good morning, Scotty La, says the wonderful Blair Beach. How super to have Blair with us this morning. Just fantastic. And uh, just to let you know that also tonight at 9 o'clock sharp, we've got the internet phone in. So make sure you're with us for that. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, Big Style. And uh, come and join us on the TikTok as well. We've got the TikTokers with us this morning, and we love the TikTokers. Hello, Scotty. This is Josh. Good morning, Josh. Lovely to have you with us, and a warm welcome. Dinky-doo, I say to you. Uh, good morning, Scotty. Good morning, Glenn. Excellent. Glenn's up and about this morning. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Susan. I hope you're well, and we send you strength, of course, and love first thing on a Saturday morning. Can you be my granddad, says TK. Mine died. I'm sorry to hear that, TK, but he loved you and you loved him, and that's a wonderful thing to have with you. An excellent granddads can be very good early life security just because they're so reassuring and they can tell you how to do things. How's the weather in the West, says Blair? A little bit uh, sunny and cloudy. You know what I mean? You know what Scotland's like, Blair? You get all the seasons in the one day. And yesterday, there was a little bit of thunder and lightning roaring away, and there were some hailstones. Tremendous. There we are. More likes, more likes, guys. Love to tell you this. Good day, says Charlie. Good day, Charlie. And so there we go. And now, what have we got here? Uh, Montgomery is here. Good morning, Montgomery. Lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do from me, Scotty McClue. I hope you're well, Scotty, says the lovely Glenn. <clears throat> we are indeed. Same here in Glasgow, says Kirsty. Yes. Did you get the hailstones, Kirsty? Uh, huge, huge, big round hailstones. I held one in my hand. <laughs> there were followers as soon as you can, guys. Thank you, Lee, for your follow. Every thoroughly decent human being follows Scotty McClue as soon as they discover him, because this is a big, big discovery. Watching Scotty McClue will change your life for the better. There's absolutely no doubt about that. And I think everyone with an internet connection should be following Scotty McClue. So there you go, guys. Uh, yes, I heard them. Did you hear them, Kirsty? Amazing. Pitter, patter, patter on the old tin roof. There we have. Fantastic. Uh, the Lady Jewellery, lovely to have you with us. A very good morning and a big dinky do to you. Never scroll, never troll. If you discover Scotty McClue, then that's the one for you. I can't tell you. Now, who else have we got here joining us this morning? A very good morning. Thank you for my likes. I'm up at 735 likes and we've only been on for four minutes. I can't believe four minutes right now. And the time, of course, is a three minutes past nine because I was a little bit sharp this morning. Sorry if I was a little bit sharp a minute early. You know, we usually nine o'clock sharp is a good time. Scrans Cans has sent me a lovely, lovely TikTok gift. What a lovely thing to do. I thank you so much. Scrans Cans has sent a finger heart. Hi, Scotty, are you a shooting man? Well, Aqua P, and um, as you say Aqua P, I take it you're not a pea shooting man. Um, I am actually a crack shot, believe it or not, uh, but uh, I don't shoot, I don't have a gun, I don't have a license, uh, so I don't have a gun, and I don't kill animals now, because uh, it would have been for the pot, but as a clay, as a clay pigeon man, um, I do extremely well. A dear friend of mine, who sadly has passed away, was the finest shot I think I've seen, and uh, what he used to do was blast a clay pigeon out of the sky. And as the dust fell, 
he reduced it to micro dust from his waist with the other barrel. Just incredible. And another dear friend of mine, sadly no longer with us, was a member of the British Army rifle team. Now, come on, folks. That's not for the faint-hearted, I can tell you. Scotty, what's the latest in the radio phone-in? Well, Glenn, uh, there are, we're still talking to radio stations, and there's a lot of enthusiasm about it. It's just delivery we're talking about at the moment, the technical side, because obviously I've already moved eight houses to go and do shows for big broadcasters. And, uh, you know, we don't want to, uh, we don't want to, be, be moving all the time because that adds a lot of expense because the technology i mean the technology was there years ago you could do the show from the house but the stations didn't think big enough to let that happen so there we are and uh, scotty what's the latest so that's what's happening there glenn uh, out in the vanden pla today scotty you are there or you were asking if i am uh, the last Vanden Pla I had was the Princess 1500. Uh, but my boss had um, a Daimler Vanden Pla. Uh, at that time, it was almost new, a 1981, an X plate. And it was the V12 Vanden Pla with, I think, if I remember, metallic finish paint. Very nice. Greetings from Snowdonia. We love you in Snowdonia, Welsh Button. So lovely to hear you. And Scrancans has sent me a lollipop. Thank you, Scrancans. You are very, very kind. Uh, yeah, the old Van Den Pla. Van Den Pla, of course, were the coach builders. And I think BMC took them over. Is that correct? Uh, if it's not, then I apologize. Je apologize. Je m'excuse. Scusi. There are a few languages for you there. Uh, Scotty, would you commute again for the right radio station? Oh, I think, Glenn, I mean, I've commuted all my life. I mean, when I finished in Sheffield uh, on a Thursday evening, I would go and walk the Lord Wreath, the Labrador, and then drive to Scotland in preparation for two shows at the weekend and a Sunday night back down on Magic Radio. You know, so it was quite a, quite a run. Good morning, Scotty. I hope you're well. Chris, how lovely to have you with us. And Dinky do. Fantastic. And uh, encourage everybody here to follow us as soon as you can. We need follow, follow, follow. And uh, can every single one of you subscribe to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel? It's got a new title. There we are. I took a gamble. Uh, dinky do, beachy, beachy, dinky do to you. I always say, how lovely. To have you with us, thank you. Do. Were you in Harry Potter? Sadly, not. But I think I would have made a very good Dumbledore. There we go. That's sort of idea. Mm, Harry Potter. Hi from the Highlands, Kelly. How lovely to have you with us. Which part of the Highlands are you watching from, Kelly? I think we should be told. How now? How lovely to hear from you. Hello, Farmer Giles. I hope you're well. From the Joker. I am the Joker. You haven't heard the last of me, Batman. Oh, I think we have Joker, yes, yes. There we are. Follow us as soon as you can. Thanks, Keely. Near Inverness, near Snakey. I know exactly where you are. I quite often travel over from Nairn. Nairn, fastest town in Scotland. Nairn. And I travel over from Nairn to Snakey to drop people off at Dale Cross. Thank you so much. Kirkfield Bank. We love Kirkfield Bank. Good morning, user big man. Thank you do, Mr. McClue from Kirkfield Bank. What a lovely part of the world. And you're not actually all that far from, uh, from, um, wait till we see, what have you got there? The go. You're near far from the go. Okay. Uh, so there we go. Scotty, that's some going. How many hours did you travel to get home after the phone in? Uh, I can tell you exactly, I would arrive at Glasgow at about half past five in the morning. One day my leg wouldn't actually work, I was so exhausted. And I would drag myself up to bed and sleep till lunchtime on a Friday. And uh, then we'd get on with the weekend shows. Uh, dinky do second day of COVID for me. Hope you don't catch it from Tex, uh, from Tex Donnie. 
Uh, I don't think you'll catch it from text there, boys, so don't panic. But I will sit back. I can't do two meters from my equipment, if you'll pardon the expression, but, um, you know, I can certainly sit back a bit. Uh, but we want you strong and well anyway. Uh, Dinky Doo, how long are you infectious for with it, do they reckon? Knock, knock. Who's there, Zure? There we are. Follow us as soon as you can. Uncommon Charlie. I'm near Golsby, if you've heard of it, Kelly. I know Golsby like the back of my hand. Ben Braggy. Yes, the big statue of the Duke of Sutherland. I have had a lovely holiday in Golsby. And we'd go in for lunch in Dornoch uh, and, and have a good look around. And, uh, and where else? We had the Duchess of Sutherland's waiting room at the station. Helmsdale. And I can remember my friend went to play golf at 2 o'clock in the morning. High summer because it was daylight. And what about that? That beautiful stuff. Loved Golfsby. Very nice. Doing the main street. Uh, and then up the back. <laughs> now, what was the big the big hotel in the town? I'm just trying to think. Uh, oh, that should come back to me. Very well known in Golfsby. We love Golfsby. There we are, Ben Braggy. Greetings from Scapa Flow in Texas. We love Scapa Flow in Texas. So welcome, Kaylee. Lovely to have you with us from Galsby. Um, Scotty, was that the back and forth from Sheffield to Scotland? Yes. So what I do, I do um, five nights in Sheffield, Sunday to Thursday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Then I drive to Scotland, sleep a bit on the Friday and do the washing. And on the Saturday, I'd do the Clyde Cayley. On the Sunday, I'd uh, do the Edinburgh 4th 2 phone in. Then I'd drive back to Sheffield, and I would do the um, the Magic radio phone in. Wonderful stuff. And when I was going to Hallam FM, I'd leave East Lothian on a Monday and travel all the way down the A1 to Yorkshire. And, uh, and do Monday night on uh, on Hallam FM. Hallam FM, we loved it. Fantastic radio station and magic. Brilliant radio stations. There we go. Who else have we got here? Ten days. Kaz, ten days. My goodness me, you've got to isolate for ten days. Hello, how are you? Mimland. Mimland, how lovely to have you with us. Uh, that's, uh, that is as do. Uh, uh, Yes. Oh, yes. I know where you are. The Caberfe. Was that the one in the town? Have I got that right, Kelly? It just came back to me there. Uh, Scotty, dink you do. A dink you do to you, I say to you. How amazing is that? Good day from South Africa. Dink you do. Dylan, lovely to have you with us in South Africa. And it's probably the same time. Are we right? Do you have, are you at 9 12 now? Or are you at 8 12 in South Africa? What part of South Africa are you actually in? I think we should be told. Uh, who's this? Now, Scotty, I had a dream you'd a talk show at the fringe. And the introduction to the show was the Eminem song. But with these words, will the real Scotty McClue please stand up with a dozen guys dressed up as you, all sitting down and you stand up. And that's the start of the show. <laughs> Well, I can remember doing Radio 4's Loose Ends with the late, great Ned Sharon, the original producer of That Was the Week, That Was, TW3. And we did it from the Gilded Balloon. And it was Radio 4 on a Saturday morning, and it was called Loose Ends. Wonderful opportunities. Scotty, so you never lived in the place you worked? Yes, I did, Glenn. I had a house in Sheffield. Uh, and I had a, a house in Scotland. So I lived uh, I lived where I worked. That was what it was about. You had to. Uh, there we are. I love the way you talk. Trip, trip. Thank you so much. TSM and Scotty Dinky do TSM. Uh, wonderful to have you all with us. How do you feel about the British royal family? I think they are outstanding public servants. And they're one of the great assets to the UK because they're effectively Scottish. Scotland took over the monarchy in 1603, the union of the crowns, and Her Majesty the Queen has just been incredible. 
95. And obviously, she's getting a wee bit stiff for walking about now. But, I mean, 95. And she served us for 70 years. Do you see what I mean? So everybody is a fan of the royal family. If anybody's an anti-monarchist, then they're a half-wit. So don't give them any credibility whatsoever because they don't understand what the monarch is about. The purpose of Her Majesty the Queen, uh, she's there as the curator and custodian of the crown, and the crown is our symbol of authority in the same way the stars and stripes are in America. And America actually wanted a monarchy, so don't be fooled by any of this Republican rubbish that you hear. There we go. Uh, thanks, Scotty. I had lunch in Donach. Yes, Donach. Lovely. The old cathedral there. So that's it. So there we are, Glenn. So what I did was I lived and I traveled. Greetings from Blackpool, having a blast of a time. So you work it out, Glenn. I lived for five nights in Sheffield and then two nights elsewhere. Helmsdale, all the pubs start with B. <laughs> Fantastic. That's the place to be. Sorry, Gov, going to see the Sandman for peace. Chris, you get off to Bobo's, dear boy. But thank you so much for joining us. What an absolute treat to have your company. Just amazing. Uh, that's what we like. Now, who else have we got here? Yes, uh, Blitzwing says, Felve and McMahon, the McMahon clan. There we are. Do something neat. Everything I do is neat, see, William. So, you know, I'll have already done many, many neat things this morning. There we go. Yee, yee. Now, who have we got here? Follow us as soon as you can. Grizzly and uh, Brian. Thank you so much for your follow. The follows are vital. Everybody on the internet should be following Scotty McClure. It was It's madness not to, because we've got the internet phone in tonight on the YouTube channel, and the YouTube channel has just been renamed Voice of the World Radio Talk Show. Yes, hi from British Columbia and Canada. Jim Robin, what a privilege and a pleasure to hear from you from BC in Canada. Fantastic. I um, want to thank you for everything that you have done for so many people, Jim. You're something of a hero in my life. And, um, you know, I just think of what a wonderful man you actually are and all the interests that you have. I mean, you're a top man in technology. You're a biker, a motorcyclist. You understand everything. You're a great talker and linguist uh, and uh, just a very fine man. So it's a privilege and a pleasure to have you live on the show, Jim. I could tell you that. Hello, Scotty, from me and Mitch VJ. What a privilege to have you with us as well. This is beyond my wildest dreams, these lives. Scotty, I want to pay my respects to the legend June Brown. Did she ever get a knighthood? Was she Dame June Brown? I don't know. I don't know that that would have bothered her too much because she was the most delightful person, an absolutely adorable lady, and she was a big Scotty McClue fan. You'll not believe that, and that's a fact. And she actually did a voiceover. Ooh, that's Scotty McClue. And that was June. And she was very friendly with friends of mine. So there you have it, you see. So I was delighted about that. Scotland is the poor man's England. Well, yes, but England is fed by Scotland. So really, you shouldn't bite the hand that feeds you. If it was the reason that Westminster won't let Scotland go is because we feed England as well as Scotland and send you £75 billion a year. So England wouldn't really exist without Scotland in its present form. Well, there you are. So I think that um, England is the rich man's Scotland because Scotland pays its bills. Are you with me? Uh, the wonderful Murray O'Donnell. Good morning, Scotty. Have a great weekend and a great day of DIY ahead for me. Ah, Murray O'Donnell, you get these sleeves up. Have you got lovely weather this morning uh, out there in uh, God's country? That's what we say. Uh, fantastic. Have a lovely day, Murray. And again, thank you for all your kindness and all your huge generosity. So much appreciated and so lovely of you. 
Murray is a man who's tapped the dollar sign at the bottom of the YouTube chat and sent me fortunes. Very, very kind of you. Thank you, Murray, because as you know, Scotty McClue accepts applause or derision on his merits. So there you are. So it's only if you were feeling you wanted to send me something and you felt I was worth it. Apart from that, no charge. There we have it. Is that not beautiful? You get quality from Scotty McClue free. <laughs> Follow us, the search again, Grizzly. Thank you so much. That's very, very kind of you. Hello, sir. Hello, grand burrito. Uh, Scotty, fit like the morning, Manny. Ah, Scottish noon. Fit like your sailor. You chaffing a war. Who's your dudes? He was just thinking, fit a bit of bitty breakfast, ruined it, my gaff. And I'll muck you, uh, I'll muck you a bitty bacon with rain ground, Ken. Um, and uh, also the tatties. Tatties with rain ground, Ken. And uh, here's thinking, maybe a few wee. Uh, do, do you like your Rowie's crisp? I never can remember. And uh, have some softies with the bacon. And uh, a bit of we're in butter, we're in ground. Can, and uh, okay, just chaffing a while, you know. Uh, people say we're poor souls sometimes, out in the, out in the sticks. But we, we, we eat well, you know, we eat well, I see. Uh, so, and, 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 and just out by the gear, you can. Fantastic. Uh, Scotty, don't tell a lot of English people that. They wouldn't like it. No, they don't like being told, Glenn, but they need to know the truth will out. You know, the, the, the English people should never bite the hand that feeds them. That's what I say. Will you be doing your radio show again? RPB, uh, I think it's highly likely. There we are. Fantastic. We might have to change a little bit of the subject matter, but it's highly likely we'll be back on the radio big style. Fantastic. Now, England, can he make a haggis supper? No, VJ, they cannot. You don't get a haggis supper in the chippy in England, but you get lovely fish. Uh, it's more like whale. <laughs> we love it. How do you feel about Scottish independence? Well, I think I'm apolitical. Sorry, I don't have any party allegiances or anything like that, but I think that uh, in true journalistic style, you see. But I think that Scotland would definitely economically do very, very well without the ball and chain of Westminster. And Westminster has been so profligate with our money recently that it's caused a lot of problems. And of course, Boris Johnson's answer is it's not the right time for independence. It's always always the right time for independence but they would have to find england would have to find another way of feeding itself and sadly uh, they made the great mistake of coming out of europe so they're not going to get fed from sitting at the big table in europe so that's why westminster just does not want scotland to go there we are uh Kaz is telling Donnie by things. What's your opinion of the USA? I love it. I think you're missing the Donald because I think that a lot of Americans fell for the media squeezing Donald out because he tells the truth. And Uncle Joe got put in there. Uh, so there you are. So that's that's the stuff there. You know, uh, thoughts on Will Smith? Well, I mean, I know he was defending his wife, but he should never, ever, ever have introduced violence to something like the Oscars. Just dreadfully pathetic, shockingly bad. That's my opinion. But uh, Will Smith as an actor is an excellent actor. Uh, you know, Scotland, Northern Ireland, and Ireland should start their own union. Uh, Scotland, Northern Ireland, and Ireland. Now, that would be quite a powerful setup. So you'd have Scotland, Northern Ireland. Now, Northern Ireland, are we still, is Northern Ireland effectively still in the EU with the setup there? I mean, is that effectively? That's I'm asking the question. Uh, you see, so what you could have, you could have England could trade with Europe via Scotland and Ireland, you see? 
So that would be interesting. No chance. Wake up and smell the coffee, Scotty the Clueless. Easty. No, Scotty the Clueless. Remember, I have 50 years of research. Remember, I know exactly what I'm talking about. And the fact that you're calling me clueless heavily implies that you don't. Do you see the difference? So I'm only dealing in facts. You're not. There we have it. Independence all the way, says Aaron. Yes, indeed. Uh, no chance. So there you are. Wake up, smell the coffee. Easty, as long as we agree, Her Majesty the Queen is the head of state, Scotland could be independent tomorrow. There we are. Hi from Austria, from Österreich. Ja, ja. And ich Deutsch sprechen, ich bin ein Auslander, nicht verstehen. Uh, fantastic stuff. So, Easty, you get your act together, son, because... You're walking, you're sleepwalking around there. Hi, Scotty, watch off an hour. I've just had a rowy toasted with a wee bit of butter. Scottish loon, that'd be bra. Yeah, absolutely bra. Ken, lovely, just lovely. And the butter is running down my chin, Ken. Uh, there we are, in terms of trade only. Uh, what are you talking about? What do you mean in terms of trade only? What are we talking about? Uh, Akawito has sent me beautiful gifts of TikToks. Thank you, Akawito. You are very, very kind. Have a good day, Scotty. I'll try to catch the phone in. Beachy, beachy. Nine o'clock sharp tonight here. Uh, turn up for the phone in. Do not miss it, I say to you. Uh, which things about Donald did you like the most? I liked his forthrightness. I liked that he wouldn't play other people's games. I like the fact that he was straight talking. The rest of the world, the, the controllers didn't like him. That's why he's not there at the moment. But he'll be back. So there we are. The people that want to run the world and think they do, you know, they don't actually, but they think they do, um, you know, they will be absolutely scared stiff of Donald coming back. You see, that's the stuff. So there you are. Now, I'm, I'm no saying, I mean, I at first thought, oh, come on, I think we've had enough of Donald. Uh, but I realized what was going on. I'd fallen for the mainstream media. Do you remember Donald used to say to mainstream media, you're fake news, fake news. You know, they did not, they don't like that. You see, because a lot of mainstream media are fake news they make up the news to suit them you see what i mean and if you're a, a, a media mogul with maybe i don't know 250 billion pounds in your bank account you're going to run with who can do you the best deal you see what i mean so the politicians oh yes yes we'll do anything you say mr powerful person and the politicians say no 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 this is not how it works you don't call the shots we do Okay, so that's that's another interesting idea. Uh, talk the Queen's English, not wacko from your own stuff. Easty, I speak the Queen's English better than you can. And when I was talking to the Invernesians early there, they speak perfect Queen's English. Not all that <laughs> that you speak. All right, Easty. So get your act together and become Westy. Uh, fantastic. Ah, I love it, Scotty. Doric's phasing out like we need to save it. Scottish Green. Fact, I see there are good kind of folk in here and one. And he thinks that's why I should uh, subscribe, Ken, uh, to the YouTube. Because, uh, uh, you know, we want to get started. Uh, and it's important when you start, then you're going to finish. But you're going to finish until Arbody's head uh, fell, Ken. So there we are. So we need a bit of that. Uh, who sent VJ Dukram has just sent me two pounds. It's come up as 199. Somebody's taking a penny commission. But thank you, VJ. You are very, very kind. And the phone line's open. Me and Mitch could phone for a blather. VJ, why not? Let me open the phone lines. Guys, I'll put the number up. Watch at the bottom of your screen. Have you all followed me on Twitter at Scotty McClue? If you've done that, let's get the phone lines open. There we have it. There we are. Voice of the world. Fantastic. Call Scotty McClure. There's your number in front of you guys. I'll just open the lines. 
Right, that should be us, VJ. Fill your boots, Lala, and let's have a chat. Doesn't Donald have a bit of history with Scotland? Yes, he's half Scottish. His mother was a Scot. I think she was from the island of Lewis. Hey, Austria is not Germany. We have managed the succession. I know that, but do you not speak German? Who have we got here? Hang on there and stay there while I turn you up. Fantastic. Right. Hello, good morning. How are you? Very well. Better for hearing you. Is that VJ? And Mitch is there as well, the two of you. We're, we're, getting, we're getting two for one. Yeah, legend. You're a legend. You two are legends. You come up on my stuff. Broadcasting media legend, Scotty McCoy. Fantastic. Well, listen, you guys have been amazing. Thank you for all your kindness and thank you for your support over. How long? 20 years? Uh, 20, 20 years, aye. Good 20 years. Anyway, I think I was about 14 years old when I was listening to the, the Scott FM, eh? Wow, that's, that's 25 years. Aye, and I'm, I'm, four, I'm 40 now, eh? You're 40, that's it. There you go. 25 years ago, VG. How amazing was that? It is, eh? And how funny were these shows? I know, they were brilliant. Oh, you know... You know. <laughs> You know, you were on the radio telling people like how, how they should live their life properly. Uh, absolutely, and we'll be doing it again. I know. I've got a copy of tea. I don't know if you can see. I've got a copy of tea here. <laughs> You've got a cup of tea as, as well as your good Scottish water as well. I've got the good Scottish water. I'll just get that for you. Uh, we'll, <laughs> there's the good Scottish water. Oh, that's lush. You can't say that. You can't say that. Big cop. Big cop, yeah. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Scottish water. <laughs> the Scottish water, fantastic stuff. Okay. You, you guys are amazing. Yeah, you're amazing. Fantastic. This is this is wonderful. It's so good of you to phone in because it's good to test the phones. Yes, well, it's good for me to have you two phone it in. <laughs> and again, thanks for all your kindness, guys. No problem. Thanks. Thanks for I, I will catch up soon. Have a lovely day. And, and dinky do education. Information. Dinky do. <laughs> Love you guys. See ya. Love you too. Are they not amazing? Fantastic stuff. Shout and bawling. That's what we like. A bit of nonsense. Now then. Oh, what have I done here? What have I done? I need to get back. I need to get back. Oh, no. There we are. Are we all right? I don't know what I touched there. Fantastic. That was lovely to hear the guys on for a bit of chat there. That was VJ and Scottish before British, says Aaron. Well, Aaron... You can't really be British. There's no such country as Britain. That's what people forget. Britain is a land mass. And Great Britain's the big bit. And Northern Ireland's the smaller bit, the six counties that wanted to hang in there. So there you are. What's Eastie saying? He's saying he was a big-headed guy that was paid for nothing. Eastie. You're sounding a wee bit negative, son. I wonder if you're in the wrong place. There we go. Uh, what do you think of Galway? I love Galway. Absolutely love it. What a fantastic part of the world that is. And Dinky Do, I say to you, just getting rid of that. There we are. Aidan's joined us. Dinky Do, Scotty. Dinky Do, Aidan. Aidan, thank you so much for sending me that stuff and for all your news and your information. Very, very good. Uh, I don't know. I don't play a brass instrument or a silver instrument. Why Why do we call it brass band? Is everything brass colored or are there silver pieces in it? Uh, but I don't play one of these instruments, but I adore them. And remember, I went to a drama school that was attached to a music school. And most of my friends were musicians. And with a lot, and of course, I love every single one of these instruments, as well as the strings. 
but I love these wonderful instruments because I love the sound and I love the balance and the blend. Uh, but I do feel something of an honorary bandsman, Eden, if you don't think that sounds too ridiculous. There we are, and of course, I love my trumpet voluntaries and trumpet solos. Uh, how do you keep from tiring your voice? Well, I just speak very quietly, as you know. I really appreciate and admire your astounding genuineness and humility, says Andrew. It would be such an honor. There we are. To meet you, Andrew, what a lovely thing to say. It would be an honor for me to meet you. That's what I say. Um, when we did the video, we always like to meet and greet the people afterwards for a good old blether. Uh, looking sharp, Scotty. You're very kind. I thank you. I hope I'm not too sharp. My mother used to say when I would give her facts, when she asked about something, I would explain to her, she said, oh, you're so sharp, you'll cut yourself. Ooh. Uh, I remember you from the radio years ago, Amanda Jane. That was a wonderful, wonderful time. And we'll be back. You see, although I'm getting on a wee bit in life, doesn't make any difference to the radio. Do you know what I mean? I used to sit there with my old slippers and my sloppy Joe jumper, telling you it all like it was. What do you farm? Uh, King Lips aid on a farm. Uh, I remember having a flat in the west end of Glasgow, and I went to the Royal Highland Show at Ingleston, and I'd put on my big um, waterproof jacket and my tweeds, and um, there was a wee top in the field and i had the top suckling my finger and i was uh, i was patting him and this guy came running over and tried to sell me them said i mean you can't really breed them over 400 can you all this stuff so he's giving me all the chat and he said what uh, what kind of place have you got and i said um, just a flat in the west end of glasgow and his face fell and there were lovely old farmers from Aberdeen going into the, the beer tent and going up and they say, yes, sir, can I, what can I get you? Uh, could I hear a bottle of whiskey and two tumblers, please? Thank you. And it was him and his old farming pal having a refreshment together. Uh, wonderful stuff. Morning from Duisburg in Germany. Dinky do. Ja, ja, Neil. Nicht Deutsch sprechen, ich bin ein Auslander. Nicht verstehen. Yeah, yeah. Guten Morgen. Uh, Aidan says, I'm all for Scottish independence, provided Gloucestershire becomes part of Scotland. Well, I think Hadrian's Wall could probably move to Watford. And everything north of Watford is Scotland. And I think people would go for that. Aidan, excuse my ignorance, but is there still a good brass band presence in Scotland? Used to be very, very big with all the mining out in Lanarkshire and stuff. And a dear old friend of mine called Bill McHugh used to do a television program about uh, about brass bands in Scotland. A television program. Uh, there we go. Fantastic. Hello, mate. Uh, hello, TKZZ. What is your what, says Aaron. My what, Aaron, is dinky do. Dinky do. Mine is drip it. Oh, drip it. What about Ichi or Ochi? What about a Stushi? What about a Stramash? There's what's for you now. You get these down. Gloucestershire's beautiful, Aidan. I know it very well. Um, you know, do you know Tetbury? Do you know Gloucester itself? I had friends, their address was at the cathedral close in Gloucester. Long, long time ago. Would that be right? Have you got Gloucester Cathedral? Uh, there we go. Brass band instruments are sometimes silver plated. All ah, right. So they can still be part of the brass band. There we are. And does that change the sound, Aidan? You'll have to pardon my ignorance here, but I need to learn. Uh, we all need to learn. Dinky do, Scotty McClure, Baloney. How lovely to have you with us, Baloney. Drip it. He was absolutely drip it wet when he came in. Or drook it. Uh, any news on the radio show, Scotty? Uh, all still ongoing, Danny. A lot of discussion. Uh, we don't mind that, though. We're actually talking about how to get it to people. 
Uh, I'm really nervous right now. It's Edinburgh Derby Day. John, why should we be nervous? Because either the Hibs or the Jambas will win. <laughs> so I'll never be nervous. And either, not a problem. I had two tumblers. I do Scottish loon. Uh, could I hear uh, a bottle of whiskey, please? I'll hear. Yes, that's a space right there. Thanks. That's good. And um, good uh, two tumblers. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. How's it going, Scotty Black Pudding and Haggis, this morning? Ah, Snedden. Very wise. A lovely start to the day. There we are. I usually would have one or the other, but you're having the two. Good night from Los Angeles. Big wheel under the ocean. We love you in Los Angeles. We love you in LA. Thank you. Thank you for joining us from the United States of America and from Los Angeles, California. Lots of branding in Scotland. The youth, lots of banding in Scotland. The youth bands are also strong. Free music tuition. Excellent, Aidan. <laughs> uh, north of Watford Gap goes under Scotland. As a scouse, I'll even wear a kilt. Oh, definitely. I remember appearing on a chat show on Radio City. And somebody hadn't briefed the journalist and they said, so she's asking me serious questions. She said, do you think we should rebuild Hadrian's Wall? I said, yes, but right down south. And this, and I can remember the line was still open when we finished. Lovely, lovely presenter, sadly no longer with us. And the line was still open when we finished. And she said, who organized that? And I think the presenter would have spent the morning explaining to her about Scotty McClue. Uh, definitely north of Watford. Absolutely, baloney. Uh, another one was Ingen. No, it's, is it no hanging? or oh, an Ingen. An Ingen as in a pickled Ingen. Yes. You know what a clout is? Yes, I've got a, I've got a clout here. I'll just show you it. There's my clout. There's a clout for you. Tartan clout. Very good. Just if I, if I need a comfort break. In. <laughs> A tartan clout. So that's it. Uh, lacquered instruments are believed to sound warmer because they're baked in an oven. But it's a myth. Good one, good one. No doubt put around by the owners of the oven. Hi, Scotty. Thank you, do. Can you speak Irish? Uh, so, do you mean can I speak a soft Irish like that as if I was from down south? And very really lovely to have you with us. Would you like something to drink? Uh, you know, that sort of stuff. Or would you like it if I'm speaking a little bit sharper, as if I was from maybe Belfast? There we go. Fantastic. Or do you mean Gaelic? Ingen, Dotty, Spin, and Beats. There's a lot. Spin. What's Spin? Ken. Scottish Loon. You'll hear to help me out here. And there's Spins. Ken. Uh, free Scotland from the British menace. Ooh, the naggy beef. Big talk. No, no, I don't think we need to have any sort of negativity or anger. There should be no anger at England because there's never, ever, ever been a case for the Union. Nobody has made one. And there is no case against Scottish independence. Nobody has ever made one because the Union is a very, very, very poor piece of legislation built on uh, sand, built on jiggery-pokery and skullduggery, actually coming from the Queen at the time, Queen Anne, who was a steward. And she oversaw the union. Well, she was really the brains behind it. She was a very difficult woman, Queen Anne, but she was very clever as well. Do you have a favourite football team? Nearly really bunkered. Nah. Uh, anybody that wins is good for me. Fantastic. Now, who have we got? Buenos dias, mi amigo. Diaz amiles. Buenos dias, mi amigo. See, si. uh, Yeah, Radio City used to do joke headlines like yourself to full the locals. Baloney. I loved my Radio City time with, um, uh, with Billy and Wally. Do you remember Billy and Wally? Uh, Billy Butler and Wally Scott. Fantastic. Have you ever heard of a Muffet of Tea, Scotty Lark? Urican. 
I have never had that. I've heard of a muffin with tea, you know, and the idea of a muffin is uh, is is quite uh, quite interesting. Uh, so there you are, a muffin of tea, like a reput Stucky's nest. Ken Bryan, uh, what's the favourite type of tartan? Well, my own is a lovely green tartan, but when I was the uh, chieftain of the Highland Games, which was a privilege, um, I wore a tartan called, uh, now let me remember here, um, what was that tartan? It was a very important Scottish Scottish tartan. Um, and it, it was a made-up tartan, but it was really, really good. You'll see it in the pictures if you look down and it'll come back to me which one it actually was uh, one time asked people in the streets of the anglican cathedral was going to be owned by and he names a big um uh, a big fast food company i know i can remember giving liverpool a real telling off because a lot of them hadn't paid the road tax the road fund license the tax this as it was at the time and i said you're dreadful you're like a bunch of thieves. And this guy came on and he says, Hey, what are you what are you at, Scotty? We're very good people. We're very religious. How come we've got two cathedrals? I said, Well, that's in case one gets nicked. Uh, there we are. Now, uh, Ross, I'll not be watching that. What time are you on till Scotty? Well, I've just realized the time. Guys. This is a terrible, I've got a bit of a confession. I pop up for five minutes to have a chat with you all. And the next thing, it's it's 47 minutes we've been up. So we'll do another another five minutes. Uh, are you speak Swedish? Uh, no, no speak Swedish, Svenska. A spoon's a spoon, Scotty. Ah, the spoon. Ken Lund, give that spoon there. With the drop, just till I get a wee stirking. That's fine. Uh, Billy and Wally Scott, hold your plums. That was it, Baloney. Hold your plums. Wonderful. I mean, Radio City was one of these perfect radio stations, like Hallam FM, like Radio Clyde, you know, all that sort of stuff. Uh, uh, Manchester's Piccadilly is another big one. Red Rose Radio, uh, my, uh, my alma mater of radio. You know, that sort of, these were wonderful, wonderful radio stations. Uh, yes. Um, what have we got? Lee Butler, Billy Sanders, the Reminiscence Dance Festival every year at St. Helens. Very big event. Yes. I've seen a picture of Lee with, with Billy. Uh, fantastic. Because Billy's still working. Uh, it's good to see more Tories on TikTok. Are you a Tory normal? So there you are. Right. You see, I mean, we're totally apolitical here, but we're not going to ban you because you're a Tory normal. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't know that it would be good to see more. We've probably got one or two, but anyway, we'll welcome you. We've got normal the Tory guys uh, who says it's good to see more on TikTok, but we are apolitical on here, obviously. Ha <laughs> ha, the cathedral joke, your Scouse accent needs work. I know, baloney, I'll have to do a bit of work in it. But I'll, that doesn't mean I don't love the bones of you. Fantastic. Radio City is now owned by a national company. Aha. Time flies. Um, I wouldn't mind coming back to broadcast to Liverpool because the people were great fun. Huge fun. Nice one, bro. There we are. Hi, Aaron. Says Kirsty. Thank you, Kirsty Allen, the wonderful Kirsty Allen. Are you going to celebrate Maggie Thatcher Day, Scotty? Um what the day she passed away oh i think that's a bit dark no i i don't i don't believe in that uh followers guys as soon as you can i mean margaret thatcher was a remarkable woman okay she did tremendous damage to the economy of the country she did tremendous damage to people's lives tremendous damage and um, not quite as bad as they're doing now but uh you know but she did she did uh so there we are so she really uh, hasn't done anything particularly good but she did grasp the nettle when it came to ending the industrial revolution 
which had been in place since the agrarian revolution. So she sort of ended about 200 years of uh, Britain being the way it was. Quite interesting. Uh, there's been a good few local small stations in the Northwest come and gone over the past few years. Well, they do. I mean, I've been involved in radio for uh, almost 40 years. Lovely people, the Putlians. Yeah, you reckon. Uh, so there we are. Apparently, they're going to invent a day for her. Was it the day she died, though? I mean, I think that's a bit harsh. Uh, there we are. Liverpool Live's the latest one, which has had Billy Butler back on air. Wonderful baloney monkey now. I've heard about Liverpool Live, and apparently it's an excellent radio station. First class. So there we are. So who knows what the future could bring? And it's run by some pretty brilliant people. So, if, well, obviously, if they've got Billy Butler on it, and am I not right, is Jeff Webster on it? Have I got that right? He's another great DJ. Uh, I think it's like a Memorial Day. Why, to remember Margaret Thatcher. Right, okay. Good luck with that, I say. Hi, all. Ivor, lovely to have you with us. Hello, Ivor. Uh, so good to have Ivor. Uh, it must be true. Oh, it must be true, Brian, if it's been in the newspapers. Anything in the mainstream media must be true, remember. Uh, so there we have it. Uh, there's also Demand Radio associated with Lee. Excellent, Baloney. What's your opinion about Jewish people? Well, I don't have an opinion on the world's great religions. I think it's fantastic that they're in existence. Uh, you have uh, Judaism. You have Christianity. You have Islam. You have Hinduism. You have Sikhism. You have, uh, what else have we got? Well, of course, Christianity, we said, um, of which Catholicism and Protestantism are very much one and the same. These are just denominations of the same religion. Uh, so there are, so no, I don't have any great opinion about the world's great religions. See, religion has never, ever, 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 ever caused a problem in the world. What has caused a problem in the world is a lack of knowledge and understanding of religion. That's where your problem comes in. Ignorance. There we are. Uh, VJ says Jewish people are just like the rest of us. Of course, human beings, there's only one race, guys. Please get this into your mind. There's only one race, and that's the human race. And everyone's welcome on Scotty McClue. There's Napoleon, you see, saying what your pronoun is. Now, Napoleon, I would direct you to the TikTok videos. Have a look at them. Because we don't do anything on here like that. We don't do anything divisive. We're all the same on here. Uh, a big religion, the biggest god is money. Baloney, good point. I just don't want to misgender you. You will never, ever, ever misgender me, Napoleon. Yes, because I can identify as anything you like. Not a problem. So there we go. Um, just became a top viewer, Napoleon. I thank you very much. Wonderful stuff. I know you've had a hard time because of all the things you did in France. But there we are. Guys, I've got nearly 4,000 likes. Can you believe that? And we've got another show tonight at 9 o'clock tonight, the internet phone in. Were you at the Battle of Waterloo? I was there. Yes, indeed. The Duke of Wellington was your man. And poor old uh, Napoleon got thrashed. But before that, you see, I can go back to 1813, the Battle of Leipzig. You see? So that was all your kind of... Uh, your stuff round about then. And that had really gone on from Britain taking command of the seas in the 1780s, 1790s. The Battle of Cape St. Vincent, the Battle of the Nile, the Battle of Cape Finisterre, uh, culminating in Trafalgar in 1805. Lord Nelson and Hardy, Captain Hardy. Is, is it old firm Glasgow Derby? Is it old firm 
or Glasgow Derby, Scotty. Uh, you can call it both. You actually talk about the old firm Derby in Glasgow, but it's really an old firm. You would say old firm game today. Oh, there we are. I'm a McIntyre. Jackie, what a lovely thing to be. Uh, I still took over most of Europe. You did very well, Napoleon. You did very well. You took advantage of the fact that they'd done away with Marie Antoinette and Louis. Yeah, shocking. Who's doing the kilt walk this year? Oh, Ivor, there'll be a lot of people doing the kilt walk. Glasgow, this is a great town, beautiful town in England. Glasgow in England. What are you talking about, Joe? I've not heard that one. Family are from Scotland. Ah, Jackie, excellent stuff. Very, very good. And where are you from, Jackie? Just give us a rough guess. Uh, you know, just let us know what is what. This is just incredible this morning. 4,100 likes. How good's that? Central FM all the way. Well, Aaron, as you know, I set Central FM up 32 years ago and it's still going. And it's very successful. And it's on air. And that's what matters. You, uh, When you're setting up a radio station, it attracts terrific local criticism. You can never do anything right for doing wrong. Uh, but you're walking a tightrope. But I just told people straight. And we set it all up for them. And I can remember a very senior person saying, do you hear a radio station? He said, I do. He said, and was that radio station there this morning or yesterday? No, it wasn't. Well, there you are. So I think we need to say thank you. So that was that. Fantastic. So there you go, because it's quite a challenge. I remember standing up at the battlements at Stirling on the, on the, uh, the parade ground at Stirling Castle. And I was looking across the whole of the casts of Stirling, the fourth valley. And I asked myself, can you do this? Can you set up the radio station and get it right? And I answered myself, yes, let's do it. And that's been the story of my life. We're either doing it or we're not. Fantastic. And it was the same with Scott FM and L107. Obviously, we had a stewardship problem there. But, uh, you know, apart from that, that's what I do. Mr. McClure, it would be an honor to serve as your mod. I'm ready to put my life on the line. Napoleon, what a lovely, lovely thing to say. It would be a great privilege to have you, but we don't bother with the mods because any trolls are toasted. Uh, now, by toasted, of course, don't panic. No trolls are harmed in the toasting, but they get a lifetime ban. They get a serious telling off and they get sent, doom the swanee. And that's what happens to trolls. Uh, Abba have a song about Waterloo. Right, Veach? <laughs> Ohio in the USA. I believe it's beautiful, Jackie. Down by the banks of the Ohio. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you. You're an extremely ordinary man that's been around a long time. You're very, very experienced in what? Uh, very, very experienced in talking. And that's kind of it, really. Uh, Scotty, phone in tonight. I'll have to give my Belfast call. Richard, I think you should. That would be lovely. Last week was outstanding. Do you see that we uh, lifted it off and set it up as a separate video? So you're now in YouTube, Richard. So enjoy that. Play that for everybody that comes into the house. Follow us. Thank you, Jackie. Can everybody follow? If you're watching Scotty McClue, follow. And also, please subscribe to the Scotty McClure YouTube channel so you're ready for the phone in tonight at 9 o'clock sharp. Guys, I'm going to have to go. You look very pretty today. Semi, thank you. I'm in England with family. Uh, we're from the Gorbals. What a treat. Scotty, uh, great last week. Richard, last week was outstanding. I must dash. Love you all. Dinky do. That's our beautiful TikTokers have had to go. And uh, the rest of us have to go as well. I've just realized we've been up for 59 minutes and 36, 37, 38, 39 seconds. 
Love you guys. See you all later. Nine o'clock sharp. Be there or be square. This is Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo to every one of you. Stick out your tongue and say ta-ta. Bye-bye.